Hello guys, this is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering how to earn phase excels, the most efficient and the fastest, in quotes, way of farming phase excels. And, first things first, a couple of recommendations, a couple of things that I want to say is... You you are, and I would prefer strongly, that you make yourself your own necromech. Now, why is this? Because the default necromechs that you pick up inside of the mission are very weak. They are not good enough, not that good enough, to actually earn and do this mission type in this sort of way that I'm going to be explaining. Uh, the one that I would prefer you get is Voidrig. The second one, which I sadly forgot the name of, uh, is not as good as Voidrig is because of his fourth and his second ability. His second ability being uh, virtually a rhino skin or an iron skin. And it's for being two massive cannons that do a lot of damage. Uh, the thing is, uh, the second one just has a sword for this fourth ability, which does do big damage, but uh, having just massive guns is, I think, and personally me, much better than having just a massive sword. Now, I'm going to be talking about points and phase excels. So, you earn one phase excel per 10 points. That means if you get 100 points, you're going to get 10 phase excels. Plain and simple. Yeah, you are gonna get the base, uh, the best base phase excels playing endurance, and this is the mission type that I would strongly recommend you play because the other ones are not as worth it for the time that you're gonna be playing. Now, you earn a base of 200, and it'll slowly rise up to 750, and at that point you will earn a total of 17,100 base points. Now. There's 36 Orphixes, and you earn 2 points per second that there's no Orphix on the map. And the, the, for an Orphix to spawn, you are going to be waiting 90 seconds, which means that's 180, se uh, 180 points times by 36. That's around 600, 500, 6,500 points. Sorry. Uh, now, you also get... Uh, points by scoring kills now every single enemy uh the the void enemies or the moon enemies i forgot what the sentience yeah there you go every single sentient has a different score now i'm not quite sure what the score numbers are i am looking at the wiki right now and these score points don't seem very accurate or they do i'm not quite sure but uh I don't think they are, or I, my, my math must must be off somewhere, not sure where. Now, the I, the most points that I've seen someone earn is 38,000, which is a, a big number. The most that I've earned is 23,000, but I didn't do it in the way that I'm going to be explaining now. I did it in the gameplay that you see in the background, but uh, the first time I actually didn't do it that way. Now... One thing that you're going to need, full squad, definitely a full squad. I would prefer you bring Combat Disciple as your aura on your Warframe, because it will heal your Warframe once you kill an enemy, which is useful uh, for your Necromech. Now, uh, upgrading your Necromech with Vitality, Redirection, any single mod that you can put for Endurance is going to be awesome. My Necromech personally isn't that, you know, buffed out, but... It's not that hard playing. I definitely prefer it to the ones in the mission because those are unmodded and really bad. Now, the way that you're going to be doing this is going once an Orphic spawns, first things first, kill the sentient enemies. Kill as much of them as possible and there should be around 20 to 25 to spawn, I think. Uh, but I haven't really counted them once I was killing them. I, the main point was I was shooting them with massive guns, so I really wasn't really counting. Now, this isn't that hard, because, first things first, clear out the uh, Orphix uh, spawnlings, whatever they're called. I actually forgot the name of those little tiny things that you need to destroy first to actually expose the Orphix. Destroy those little tiny things, then kill as much enemies as you possibly can to gain extra points, and then... Destroy the Orphix once so it closes up again and then just kill the enemies and one of your players preferably destroys the Orphix spawnlings and then at the end once you realize there's no more enemies then destroy the Orphix. Now, uh, you might be scared at some points that you do not have enough time 
and uh, that the, the the sentient control is gonna rise up but just don't worry if it goes like that then kill uh, then just kill the orphix really fast destroy those little spawnlings and then destroy the orphix really fast and simple because the thing is uh, nine out of ten times you're mostly gonna get more points by having more time on your hands than not but uh, making you know killing it too fast doesn't make sense because it's always gonna take one minute and 30 seconds for it to spawn so killing it two minutes earlier is not gonna be beneficial to you because it's the 30 seconds is not gonna be much because it's still gonna spawn in one minute 30 so the extra 30 seconds you're just gonna lose so that is mostly the gist of it that's uh, that's like the make a combo we test it out even for yourself the personal the way that i do it is uh we don't kill the enemies on the first uh orphix we just destroy the little spawnlings and then destroy the first time then kill the enemies and then kill the orphix once you realize there's no enemies because this is like sort of for me and, and my squad so, sort of like a perfect balance of of points and and just doing the mission fast not having to, having to wait that much so that's my personal preference but yeah in general uh, this is the fastest and most efficient way of earning phasic cells so hope you guys enjoyed the, the drop tables and what you can purchase from father is uh, of course in game you can check it out there or i'll leave the page to the i'll leave the wiki page down in the description below so you can check everything that you want uh on this page so hope you guys enjoyed this has been the gaming weasel don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace